NFL playoffs are quickly approaching, and the postseason is going to be here before we know it. So really for the first time this season, we're going to take a deep dive into the NFC playoff picture entering Week 17 to go through all of the clinching scenarios and a potential path for the San Francisco 49ers to get the number one overall seed in the NFC because that dream is still alive to have home field advantage go through Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. So we begin by just taking a general look at the NFC playoff picture to see which teams are where in this playoff hunt, Philadelphia Eagles, number one seed, 13 and two, already clinched a playoff spot. Minnesota Vikings, 12 and three, they're the two seed, also clinched a playoff spot with the division win in the NFC North. San Francisco on the NFC West on Thursday night football against Seattle, right now that three seed, and they can only go up from there because the Bucks are reeling even after that win against the Cardinals, seven and eight on the year. This is where things start to get interesting outside of the Dallas Cowboys at that five spot. And if the Eagles lose out, Cowboys win out. Cowboys could get that number one seed and win the NFC East. In fact, they will. It's the Giants. It's the Commanders. Giants aren't playing spectacular football. Commanders kind of struggling. And we saw that in that game against San Francisco, there's levels to this, right? San Francisco, the far better team as compared to Washington. If the season were to end right now, obviously these teams would be in. But you can't sleep on Seattle. You can't rule out Detroit. You definitely can't rule out the Green Bay Packers because Aaron Rodgers and the Pack are playing good ball right now, really looking to streak here in the final month and change of the regular season. And then Carolina, New Orleans with Tampa Bay, those teams still in the mix with two games left in the NFC South race. For those of you looking to stay up to date with what's happening on the other side in the AFC Conference, it's the Buffalo Bills atop everything. With that one seed, 12-3, and three, they clinched a playoff spot and won the AFC East. Kansas City Chiefs won the AFC West. They, too, 12-3, and three, but Buffalo owns a tiebreaker after beating KC earlier this year. Cincinnati Bengals still do have an opportunity, by the way, to get the number one seed. If they win out, Bills kind of falter. Chiefs lose a game. It could open up an avenue in which Cincinnati gets that one seed. Jacksonville Jaguars with Trevor Lawrence and Doug Peterson, leaders of the AFC South. The winner of the Week 18 game between Jacksonville and Tennessee will win that division, thus get into the playoffs. And then the wild card teams. Baltimore Ravens clinch a playoff spot. They're good. It's all about playoff seeding for them. The Chargers clinch a playoff spot. They're 9-6. and six. Dolphins, they have not. If they win out, they're in. If they don't, it gets tricky. Other teams in the mix, New England Patriots, who the Dolphins play this week, New York Jets, Tennessee Titans, Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Las Vegas Raiders have a slim to nothing chance of making it to the playoffs less than 1% in fact. So, will the 49ers win the Super Bowl? That is our poll question for today's show. This team is loaded offensively, even with Brock Purdy. They have a great coach in Kyle Shanahan. They have the best defense in the NFL. They are built to win their sixth Super Bowl as a franchise. Do you disagree with me? Type L. You agree with me? Type W. Let us know right now in the comment section. For Philadelphia, the path is pretty simple. The magic number is one. They lost to the Cowboys on Christmas Eve, 40-34, to turned the football over four times, but nearly... One with the backup quarterback. Week 17 against the Saints. Week 18 against the New York Giants. The path to the number one seed for Philadelphia. Just win a game. The magic number one. If they don't, but Dallas, Minnesota, or San Francisco lose, then Philadelphia can still get that top spot. For Minnesota, the Eagles have the tiebreaker over the Vikings. So that works to the advantage of Philly. Week 16, beat the Giants on that 61-yard field goal as the clock expired. Week 17, Packers. Going to be a great game. Maybe the game of the week because of the implications there. Week 18 on the road against the Chicago Bears. Path to the number one seed for Minnesota. They have to win out. Philadelphia has to lose out. So Philadelphia chokes. That's an epic choke job. For San Francisco, took down the Commanders convincingly. Won another game by scoring more than 30 points and were dominant in doing so. 37-20 the final as we know. Week 17, Raiders. Week 18, Cardinals. Raiders game's on the road. Cardinals game at home. Path to the number one seed for the Niners. Win out. Philly loses out. Minnesota has to lose one of their final two games. For the Buccaneers, they can win the a uh, NFC South. Excuse me. They beat the Cardinals in overtime. Trace McSorley, the starting quarterback there, 19-16. They played the Panthers. Huge game because the Panthers have an opportunity to still win that division. And then week 18 against the Falcons. How the Bucs can clinch. Win against the Panthers or a loss and a Panthers loss in week 18. 
So you take another look at the NFC playoff picture, and there is some movement that can certainly take place. Philadelphia can drop out of that number one seed. Minnesota, San Francisco can move in. The Dallas Cowboys, even though they're the five seed, can still unseat Philadelphia by way of Philadelphia really just collapsing. And again, do not rule out Seattle, Detroit, Green Bay, Carolina, or New Orleans. But again, Carolina and New Orleans would have to win the NFC South to get in. For the Dallas Cowboys, pretty intriguing team here. For a while, they were up there with San Francisco having the best defense in the NFL. It's three weeks in a row in which that Cowboys defense has gotten throttled. First by Houston, then against Jacksonville, this past week by Gardner Minshew and Philadelphia. A little bit of a concern for Dallas moving forward, and I still think San Francisco, if they were to meet against the Dallas Cowboys, San Francisco is the better team. For Dallas, though, clinch a number five seed with a win and a Giants loss. But again, win out, Eagles lose out, then the Cowboys can get that number one seed. And here's the path to simplify it to get that top spot. Cowboys win out, Eagles lose out, Niners would have to lose a game, so that's something else that has to take place, and the Vikings would have to drop a ball game as well with two weeks left to go. If you want to bet on any of this, make sure you do so with the best sports book in the game. It is BetUS all year, offering a 125% deposit bonus by heading to chatsports.com slash 49bet, promo code Niners125. You put in $100, you get $125 back. Simple math, even though I failed elementary algebra at Temple, that's $225 to game with. Week 17 betting odds. You can bet on this game against the Raiders, old school NFL rivalry. San Francisco entering this matchup at Allegiant Stadium in the Sin City as six-point favorites. The over-under set at 48. And because it is Raiders week, can we get as many people as possible to type FLV in the comment section? I wish you could type F Oakland, but the Raiders were never faithful to the Bay. That's why they dipped out. For the New York Giants, lost that heartbreaker of a game to the Vikings 27-24. They still have an opportunity, though, to lock down a wild card spot. And I think that Brian Dable and Doug Peterson, the two leaders to win NFL Coach of the Year. Colts in Week 17, who knows if Nick Foles or Sam Ellinger starts, but either way, they suck. Week 18 against the Philadelphia Eagles. That could be a huge game for the Giants as well as Philly, if Philly loses to the Saints this upcoming weekend. Win and in for the Giants, or losses from the Seahawks and Commanders, current seed number six. For Washington, a little bit of an uphill battle, and again, teams breathing down their neck, namely the Green Bay Packers. Week 17 on the road against the Browns. I imagine this time of year going to be a hostile weather environment. Week 18 against the Dallas Cowboys. So two difficult games remaining for Washington. Half game up. So tiebreakers are actually super easy for them. If they win out, they're in, of course. And how Washington can clinch win and losses this week by the Seahawks, Lions, and Packers. So three teams there in the wild card hunt on top of a commander's win, and that's how Washington can get in. I'm kind of hoping that the 49ers are able to take on Washington in the playoffs because it'll be a repeat of this past week in which San Francisco generated more than 30 pressures to Washington's four. For the Seattle Seahawks, I wouldn't be overly concerned about them getting into the playoffs and taking on San Francisco because the 49ers are the better team and it would be a home game. Week 16, they lost against the Chiefs and they've really been struggling the last two months. They have the Jets and the Rams both at home to round out the 2022 campaign. And Seattle does have the head-to-head -head over Detroit. So that is huge. Current seed, though, they are out. How Seattle can clinch, they win out. There is a Washington loss and a Green Bay loss. So that is how Seattle can sneak into the playoffs. And then the Detroit Lions, Green Bay Packers, two teams in the NFC North looking to get into the playoffs. For the Lions, they lost against Carolina. A loss that just can't happen as Carolina put up historic amounts of yards on Detroit. They have the Bears and uh, coming up this week. Seattle has the head-to-head -head over Detroit. It's win out and Seattle or Washington lose for Detroit. If they don't win out, it's very complicated to get a spot. Packers now. This is the team that a lot of people don't want to face. And honestly, when you think about it from kind of a macro perspective, ideally it'd be nice when you think about it for San Francisco to get that two seed, right? Because it's a home game for the wild card round and divisional round. But honestly, if you get that three seed and the Packers have to take on Minnesota, 
in the wild card round. I think the Packers win that game. Then the Packers have to go on the road to Levi's. But if Minnesota wins, I have no doubt San Francisco can go on the road against Minnesota in the divisional round to win that game. And for the second consecutive year, third time in four years, San Francisco could be NFC Championship game bound. Green Bay's path to the playoffs. The Packers went out because they really, you know, had to make up for the ground that they lost earlier this year. Commanders lose a game or the Giants lose out. So it all starts this weekend. Packers, Minnesota, and both teams have a lot to play for. Make sure you subscribe for daily Niners coverage. We do it all. News, rumors, analysis, all 22, live shows, watch parties. But when it comes down to stuff like this, we break it down in full. Lock us in and subscribe. For the Carolina Panthers here, week 16, beat the Lions 37-23. They've actually played really good ball under Steve Wilkes, who might be the head coach for that organization next year. Week 17 on the road against the Bucks. Week 18 against the Saints. Win out, they win the NFC South. And for the Saints... Got two Saints fans here to my left. Week 17 against the Birds. Week 18 against the Panthers. Bonkers wild card berth path would be everyone loses out basically. And then New Orleans finds a way to win out. If they win out and the Bucks lose out, New Orleans can also get into the playoffs. So like I said, this is why you subscribe. There's a lot there. And all of this math makes my head spin because I talk for a living. I don't break down numbers, but we simplify it for you in the best of ways. And that's why you subscribe. Appreciate all of you for tuning in. And let's circle back to this question. Our poll question for today's show before we hop on out of here. Will the Niners win the Super Bowl? W for win, L for lose. You tell me.